Spots in the state championship games were on the line today as the boys state soccer tournament rolled on at Drake Stadium and Mediacom Stadium. It was a pretty good day for our Central Iowa teams with five advancing to the state title games. We start in the Class 1A semifinal. Van Meter took down the one seed in the quarters, now needing to get past West Liberty. Caleb Moore gets behind the defense and takes a unique angle on it. Doesn't matter because that put Van Meter on the board. The Bulldogs not stopping there. Adam Beck lifts it over the keeper's head for the goal. Van Meter pulls off another upset, this time over West Liberty, two to nothing, and they're moving on to the championship. In Class 2A, the undefeated defending state champs Gilbert facing off against Bishop Helan. Down one to nothing, the Tigers are awarded a penalty kick. Jackson Johnson, or Captain Jack as the student section calls him, ties the game. But the Crusaders broke this thing open in the second half. They tack on two more goals and keep this one just out of reach. Gilbert's season comes to an end in the semis. In the other 2A semifinal, Perry trying to punch their ticket to the finals, facing off against Assumption. The Blue Jays not able to connect on some good looks in this one, but all it took was one, and the Knights score the lone goal, defeating Perry 1-0. Let's move to Class 4A. Johnston and Iowa City West had 100 minutes to determine a winner, but that wasn't enough. Johnston up 3-2 in PKs. West's shot is no good. Just up 4-3, to three, a goal here would clinch it. Angel Miramontes' shot is saved by Richard Wu, but Johnston can still win it with a save. It's off the post, and the Dragons are going back to the state championship to defend their 2023 title. Uh, they're hard-nosed, they're wired. That's our, our second overtime game in, in a week, and uh, I'm not so sure another group can handle that, uh, but I'm super proud of them. On the other side of the bracket, the Maroons of Dowling Catholic trying to meet the Dragons in the championship game. They'd have to get through Pleasant Valley. This was another close one for the Maroons, but they're able to get it done, defeating Pleasant Valley 2-1, and they'll meet Johnston in the championship game. 